Uh, you know, this is a very, very rare case. Police officers who use deadly force are rarely charged with a crime, and convictions on of murder or manslaughter like Ray Tenzing is facing in this particular case, well, they're almost unheard of. So our I-team reporter, Craig Cheatham, has been digging into the numbers. See what he found. Despite an increase in the number of videotaped police shootings, the I-team has learned that less than 2% of those incidents ever lead to criminal charges against the officers involved. That's got to go where the front plate's supposed to go. The deadly police shooting of Sam DuBose was caught on video. It led to a charge of murder against former UC officer Ray Tensing, and it sparked reform in the UC Police Department. But that series of events connected to one case is extremely rare. Bowling Green State University professor Philip Stinson told me that out of the estimated 1,000 cases of police deadly force every year, an average of six officers have been charged in each of the past dozen years. That increased during the last couple of years. 18 officers, including Tensing, were charged last year, 11 so far this year. But according to Stinson, only a third of them have been convicted nearly all of them on lesser charges, and only one is currently serving prison time for a murder conviction. Beginning next year, the Department of Justice plans to publish a detailed database on every incident involving the deadly use of police force. The current system being used by the FBI is, according to the FBI director, embarrassing. In the newsroom, Craig Cheatham, 9 on your side.